Hello everyone, this is a thank you video as well as a call to action video. Firstly, I want to thank Zach George for all that he's done for dog training for more than a decade. Now, I started my YouTube channel over a decade as well and what I found out is that the more views my channel got, the more stress I got because the more exposure you get, the more negativity you get. People come after you, they wanna say mean things about you. If you get an easy puppy or a friendly easy puppy, they say, oh, you got that puppy on purpose because you suck at training. You get a hard puppy, oh, what did you do to the puppy? You must have done something. If I had the puppy, the puppy wouldn't be that hard. You get a puppy that uh, is hard and they get a little bit better. Oh, if I had the puppy, uh, the puppy would be perfect. You get a puppy that's hard and then the puppy gets to be perfect. Oh, that was an easy puppy. La la la. So anyway, everyone always has something negative to say about you and the more views you get, the more negativity comes like a dark cloud. So um, there was a time where uh, my YouTube channel started getting more views and then I immediately shut down and just started doing seminars and conferences and ignored YouTube for, I guess it was five years. But Zach George kept going and he, he created um, so much content about positive reinforcement training and he made it fun and interesting for the general public, people who know nothing about dog training, to want to get into. I know that sometimes my videos come off too trainery and my focus is on training other trainers and it just isn't so welcoming for people to want to get involved in the training. It can seem confusing and weird. And um, the point of this story is that um, I'd, there, it, it takes a lot of guts to be on the top and have that exposure and not just have it destroy you. And I mean, wow, I'm just so, so in admiration of what he's done and what he's done for uh, positive reinforcement training. Now, um, this video is not about, ooh, let's put positive reinforcement training so, so that it, it hides everyone else's um, types of training. That's not what it's about. It's about people being able to sit on their couch who have never, or on their chair, uh, on their computer, and who have never learned about dog training and having a choice. So they get to see all these different types of training and they get to make up their own mind how they want to train. So before, uh, there wasn't any exposure for positive reinforcement. There was very little. Um, the only reason I found out about it is because I fell into a humane society that was training that way. And it was like, I fell with my bum in the butter and I wanted everyone else to have that experience to get to make that choice of how you want to train. It's not about one method is better than the other. That's not what I'm saying in this video. Of course, every trainer thinks their method is the best. Otherwise they wouldn't train that way. The one thing that dog trainers can agree on is what the other dog trainer is doing wrong. So I really suggest that instead of making it a singular community, which I've done myself, where I've isolated myself, I've stayed in my bubble and I've just ignored everyone else and focused on my work, I think we can be more appreciative of other trainers who don't train the same way that we do and support each other. I find actually sometimes the positive reinforcement training community can be quite cold and I get jealous. And I think that a lot of people move on to other methods because they say one thing and everyone jumps on them and, and attacks them. Um, you know, you write something about your puppy and what you're doing with them and then everyone tells you that you're a monster uh, for doing something like that. And I know I've been guilty in the past of being a dog training snob. Um, I only, I guess, in the last five years have realized that, uh, you know, that, that other people can train other ways and it's okay. You know, the focus is on humane training, ethical training, and really, uh, you know, making a better quality of life for the dog and the person. And so all these tiny little minute details about how you train to leave it or, or anything like that, it's really not that big a deal in the bigger picture, which is putting this information out there, creating a positive community for people to want to join 
um, and not making it a scary place for new trainers and, and new owners of dogs who want to learn about training to talk about their training without getting bashed. So um, one other thing that I like about Zach George is he doesn't go around bashing other people. Um, I find that very, very respectful. And uh, so the call to action is go to Zach George, uh, either on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and just thank him uh, for what he's done for uh, exposing positive reinforcement to the entire world so people can find out about this type of training and also go around looking for other positive reinforcement trainers that you like and say something nice about them. Leave them a comment, like one of their videos, and I will do the same. I'm going to go out and find specific trainers to tell them how much I appreciate their work and this is really going to build build us up rather than all this tearing down of other trainers. I think that um, uh, now's the time to start the building up process. I did actually write to him personally and every once in a while I've written a comment about him somewhere in a feed, but I never made this public display of, of, of thankfulness um, to, to Zach George. I actually wrote to him yesterday saying that I was grateful for him um, and then he said he was going to post like a little ad about my YouTube channel. I was like, don't do that, don't do that, it's fine. But he did anyway. And so I, na I now have to thank him for that. So um, he sent people to my material and I am very grateful for that. I suddenly got thousands more followers. Um, so, uh, you know, it was unnecessary, but of course it's super cool and fun. Thank you so much for watching and I'm so grateful for all the support you all have given me. See you later.